children in Britain are just not getting enough sleep. And without enough sleep, research shows that they're more prone to anxiety, to depression, to obesity, and they get lower grades in school. And on a school night like tonight, if your child is under 10, they should be in bed by the end of this show. This is the ideal point to say that most sleep problems are behavioural. So any parent can sleep train their child, but there are cases which are medical. So it's always best to go to your GP or your health visitor before you start training. Lots of kids are motion addicts, so is Talia, so stop the movement and the baby has to learn to self-settle. We're doing gradual retreats, so you start near the cot and you gradually retreat overnight, over a number of nights as the child gets used to self-settling. And don't pick up from the cot during the night, just be there to reassure, but she has to learn to settle herself back to sleep. He refuses to go to sleep on his own, so I either have to stay with him in his bedroom until he goes to sleep, which could take anything up to an hour and a half, two hours. Or if we try and get him to go to sleep on his own, then we end up with screaming tantrums. Okay, so here's the sleep pan for tonight, darling. First of all, you are, well, we've seen, you're outside the room now. You're doing uh, uh, this because we want you to reduce the dependency that he has on you. He needs to be able to fall asleep on his own. And look, he is lying there now. And I, I can tell you from what I see, he looks fine. Um, it, some people co-sleep, it's not working for you. So that's why you want to change it. And that's why we're helping you. Rapid return is the technique. As we just saw earlier, as he comes out, you take him straight back in. And we're resetting his body clock. He's been going to sleep so late, we're gonna start putting him down later and over the next few nights we'll get his his body uh, to sleep earlier and earlier Just do it. so yeah we're both up there until they both dead asleep having not had a full night's sleep in two years the relationship is suffering intrudes on every other part of your life time for each other patience with each other so it upsets us both really doesn't it yeah 